somebody's backyard um, to try to uh, sit in on a, a horse clinic uh, for Liberty training so I'm excited oh that's a pretty barn that is so cute I love that <laughs> anyways um, so I'm hoping to sit in today and try to figure out everything about Liberty training and learn as much as I can today um, I don't know if these people are going to be okay with me filming, but if they do, if, they, if they're okay with it, I'll definitely film. Um, these people over here got a really nice, nice little setup. <laughs> All right. This is awesome. I'm so excited. I'm very late. Uh, the thing started at 1 o'clock and it's like 2 o'clock now. So, or a few minutes after 2 actually. So, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that they're still, um, I'm hoping that they're still doing something because uh, I've seen several trucks and trailers. Uh, that horse there looks like my candy. <laughs> A little bit. So GPS is saying that we need to turn, I think, right here. All right. Oh, I really, really hope that they're still doing this clinic. Hmm. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> I've never been here before, so, um, yeah. Do, 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 do. Feels so weird. Kind of like, you want to figure, oh, I don't see nothing going on. Oh, they might be done, done to that for today. Well, I might be wrong. Okay. Um, where do I check in? I don't know where I check in. Oh, I'm gonna just park down here with these other vehicles. I don't see anything going on. I don't, mm, I don't know. All right, let's go, I'll, I'll go figure it out here in a second. Okay, so I just left the meeting. Um, we, I, I didn't get there at the beginning of the meeting, so I don't know what all they covered. But they're going to have another meeting here in about a month or so. Um, anyways, I that that meeting is supposed to cover a little bit more groundwork and stuff in the arena. So I'm excited about I'm so sorry. My keys are hitting my knee. Here, I have so many keys. Like, it's just it's insane. Ah. Try to get them to quit, you know. But anyways, um, so yeah, I just left the meeting there. The next meeting they're going to be, my understanding is they're going to be out in the arena and they're going to actually be working with horses, um, working, doing like the more actual hands-on Liberty stuff. I'd never been to a meeting like this before, so I had no idea. Um, I, they may have worked in the arena, uh, earlier, but I just, I, I got here late. So, um, that's, that's my fault. But, uh, but anyways, I'm excited. I met some people. We did a little exercise. Um, I had to pretend to be a horse and try to understand the, um, the, the different pressures of, you know, not the pressures, but like, you know, like when you're trying to tell a horse to do something, we did they, the, the, the audience, I can't even talk. The group would say yes, you know, when I was doing whatever it was, they were asking me correctly, and then they would say no, and I wasn't allowed to have any hints or anything, and I ended up being the horse that got frustrated and, like, visibly just, I gave up, and then they kept encouraging me, and I, it literally, like, got, I got emotional about it, and I was just like, oh my gosh, this is so embarrassing right now. <laughs> this is my first meeting with these people. These people are so nice to me right now and I'm getting emotional <laughs> what is wrong with me <laughs> so anyways I was making a little joke I was picking on myself I said oh boys this is embarrassing <laughs> you know and, oh god so anyways I'm hoping to have my a game the next meeting because oh my gosh so anyways but I can't get over the fact these people have got like these beautiful horses all around this area um and that's like a that's like that's a cute little little house right there 
So, anyways, there's a big boy up here walking. <laughs> oh my goodness, they look like sweet horses. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, and everybody here too has horse trailers. That is a big boy right there, goodness gracious. Oh my goodness. So, anyways, but yeah, everybody here was really, really nice. Um, everybody here was very encouraging. It was definitely, I, I, I told one lady before I left, I was like, yeah, so this is totally outside of my comfort zone. Like, I am, this is, you know, I didn't tell them this, but I was like, I'm a trucker. I'm used to being by myself. Like, if I get frustrated, I have to figure it out on my own. Like, this is so different. <laughs> You know, because not everybody stops to help somebody who's broke down on the side of the road, you know, for obvious reasons. And, you know, and, and, and you usually, like, I mean, you were, you were, um, I'm supposed to make a left? No, I'm not. That's not how we came to this place. We're not going left. GPS, what are you doing? Oh, gosh. Anyways, don't always listen to Siri. Just, just don't. Yes, that's the route that we went a minute ago. What are you doing? Anyways, but yeah, back to what I was saying, though, not everybody you know, it is so kind and so helpful, you know, and then when you go out, so it's, it's basically in a nutshell, I'm trying to say here is, um, I'm, I'm hoping that I can be around people who have trained horses for a living, like genuinely trained horses. And it's not some sort of, you know, backyard flunky that's decided, oh, I'm gonna be a horse trainer, you know? Um, all I've ever done with horses is ride ones that were already broke and ride ones that um, didn't kill me every time I asked them to gallop. Uh, <laughs> Candy, I love you, girl, but you got attitude. <laughs> um, anyways, so I'm hoping that if I, you know, hang around these these types of people who, like I said, have been trained. Oh my goodness, look, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm so distracted right now. There's so many horses around. I love them! Oh, that one's pretty. That one's really pretty. I hope these people don't mind me filming their horses. They're so pretty. They're so pretty! I don't think you guys can see them. Anyways, but um, but yeah, I'm hoping though that I'd be around people, you know, because that's kind of what happened, happened to me when I was trucking. I never drove a big truck before in my life. I mean, the biggest I, I drove was a dually pickup. A dually uh, Ford F-350, actually. And um, anyways, and, and before that, it was like an F-150. So I was just like, you know, whatever. <laughs> but uh, but I went off to training and I was around people. They taught me how to shift gears. They taught me how to drive trucks. They taught me how to back trailers. And, you know, I wasn't perfect at first, but, you know, after a few years of driving and, oh, excuse me, taking pointers from other people in the business and just, you know, over time, I mean, I just like, man, I, I was really good at it. Um, and I had no idea that I, cause I don't come from a family that trucks. Um, goodness gracious, the potholes in this dirt road. Oh my goodness. My goodness. I just washed my truck too. Ugh. Anyways. Um, oh, mom would love this. They got two little mini ponies. Oh, see, I need to get a round pin like these folks have right here. Something like that see if I can look at them. They're so cute. Sorry. I'll stop being weird. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyways, um, there's so many horses on this one road. Oh my goodness. A donkey. I think that's a donkey. Yeah, that's a donkey. Oh my goodness. I need to do something. I need, I need to figure out how to make a living with horses because I just, I love horses so much. I'm like a little kid at a candy store. I just, I freaking love horses, man. I don't know how to properly train them though. Cause like I, what I was, what I was talking about earlier is I've ridden horses when I was like six, seven years old. And I just, I mean, they were, they were already broke pretty much, you know I mean? They weren't like trained, like what you would see at like, you know, horse shows and stuff where the horse is doing dressage or the horse is a jumper or the horse is a, uh, a barrel racer or or uh, I'm going blank with other disciplines in horse industry but yeah I think you get the idea what I'm talking about eventually I'll have my truck I'll have my horse trailer um, candy um, for those that are new here she's my 
poor horse that I have back at the house and she's green broke to ride which means she has been introduced to a saddle you can get on her you can ride but it's not like a polished horse where you get on them you ask them to gallop and they gallop so beautifully like you see in the movies in Hollywood and you know she's just so eager to take you places that's not candy at all candy is kind of like when she sees the saddle she's like oh you know she's rolling her eyes she's like oh that again huh okay all right well you know and then she takes little little baby steps she has no go unless it's to throw you off which is that doesn't count <laughs> so anyways but yeah i'm i'm really i'm very very hopeful um to you know this this group that i have found um that I'm gonna, you know, gonna get like a lot of, a lot of uh, encouragement, a lot of tips and tricks, and maybe even, maybe even possibly uh, get out of trucking and, and move into, you know, maybe training horses. I, I don't know. Uh, but even if I don't get to train horses for like a living, at least I'll be able to train my horses so that when I want to go off and go do the shows, my horse isn't like a maniac, you know? <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, I don't know a lot about the actual effective ways of training a horse. I have my idea of, you know, how to, you know, get what you want, well, I guess on like a fast track, but it's not necessarily the most effective way. And I've never dealt with a horse too as difficult as Candy is being, and I, it's my fault a little bit, um, but I just, I'm hoping that with this type of, uh, why are you, GPS, you have lost your mind. We're not, we're not going that way. We're not going that way. Actually, that might be a quicker way to go. You know what? We're going to take the scenic route. We're going to take the scenic route. But, um. But yeah, and and just I, I just I want to learn. I've never never tried this type of horse training before, so this will be interesting. It it seems like everybody there has been um, using these uh, methods. I guess you you call it training techniques. Um, they've they've been using it on their horses for years. So it's not something that you can learn at a couple of weekends and whoops, your horse trainer or whoops, your horse's problems have all been solved. Like it just that no. <laughs> so, um, ooh, is that an equine, is that, I think that's an equine hospital. I think, I think that's what it is a bit. Something, something like that. So anyways, I'm excited. I'm excited. I wished I had gotten there on time because I don't know what all they covered today. But um, maybe, maybe, maybe the next meeting I can be on time. <laughs> I'm so mad with myself. I was, and part of why I was late is I overslept. And then, um, oh, that's a feeding seed store. That's a feeding seed. Okay, all right. They got tack. Cool, cool stuff. Um, but anyways, yeah, I uh, I was trying to get my sister, you know, to come with me, but she's just she changed her mind. She's straight up tired and. She's I had to see about mom and ah. If you're new here, um, I my name is Christy. <laughs> In case you didn't know. Uh, <laughs> And I am a professional truck driver um, by trade, and I am working actively on trying to get out of the trucking industry and move into the horse industry, but I want to continue traveling, and I want to continue uh, making videos, and just, you know, just, I, I love traveling. I love traveling. I absolutely. I don't. I don't think I've ever met anybody that I absolutely don't want to travel. I don't like it. You know, I've never. I don't think I've ever met that kind of person before. I don't think they exist. But if they do, I. I mean, I could be wrong. <laughs> but, uh, but anyways, I. Um, 
my video that I made driving from Phoenix to Savannah, Georgia. If you haven't already checked that video out, be sure to go check it out. It's a pretty good travel across America. Um, I, I want to do more videos like that, but instead of trucking, it'll be um, me riding, you know, going to horse competitions, going to rodeos, hauling the horses everywhere, you know, and just kind of really, uh, what are they doing? What is that? that's a leak or not <laughs> boy might have got problems <laughs> so anyways um but yeah i so i think a lot of y'all have found me with my trucking videos and uh i think that's so awesome i'm so glad to have each and every one of y'all there um and thank you so much for smashing that subscribe button it really i mean it makes my day so um anyways we uh we're i'm still planning on when i hit a thousand subscribers we're gonna have a party and uh, i hope that you guys will, will stick with me um whenever i do i don't know when i'm gonna leave the trucking industry but hopefully when i leave um i can i can make a decent living with horses so we'll see but i hope you guys stick around for that it's gonna be a little while before i leave the trucking industry so don't worry we're still gonna have some trucking videos um, and then eventually though when I do leave the trucking industry um, Still gonna have travel videos, but it, it might take me a minute to, to get a good travel video So I, I don't know. I don't know what lies ahead. I just know that I'm excited about the journey I'm excited where life is going uh, My mom too for those that are new here. Uh, my mom, you know, she's had her surgery here We're about six or seven weeks post-surgery. She's doing so much better um, God is so good. I mean, He is blessing us left and right. And I'm just, yeah, I, I'm so thankful for everything He's done for us. And uh, everything is just, I mean, when you think it can't get no worse, it does. And God's always been there. He's always brought us through. And it's just, it's our job to look to Him, to ask Him for help. And just, you know, keep the faith keep 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 believing in jesus keep calling on jesus keep following jesus you know everything's gonna be all right <laughs> one thing i noticed that like when i'm driving my personal vehicles is i put my turn signal on way before my turn and so people back off and then it's like they get like okay were well, you gonna turn anytime today <laughs> it's just a habit i have so I try to be a little bit more cautious of that, not signaling so early. Anyway, when I'm in my work truck, <laughs> um, it, it's not as much time. It, it's you know, you need to sig signal early because you got to slow down because you're usually holding something pretty heavy. It's gonna take you a second to slow down, anyways. Yay! Oh my goodness! Okay, you know what? Just for kicks and giggles, while I'm over here. I just want to, I want to go look at these horse trailers. I just, I just want to look at these horse trailers because your girl, your girl needs some encouragement. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know what? We're just, we're just going to park right over here. Look at that. Okay. I'm going to get out actually and walk around for a minute. Boy. I always feel like a janitor with some of the keys I have. Oh, I used to joke about that. All right, let's go. Oh my goodness, y'all. Okay, that's an RD of some sort. That one is. That one's pretty cool looking. Super shiny. That's actually a second thought. Let's go this way. Let's see. I feel like an absolute weirdo walking out here with my camera. <laughs> but yeah, let's, uh, oh my goodness, look at all the goosenecks. I kind of like and don't like the doors, like on that one, sorry, on that one there that swing this way and then they close back on the back side. Um, I kind of do and don't like those. Almost got a bumper pull, kind of like one of those, but then I was like, eh. Let's go with Gooseneck. I think Gooseneck is safer. This is a livestock trailer. Um, they had one of these up at Tractor Supply. 
I didn't, I think they wanted like something crazy, like 7,000 or something for it. And part of that is because metal went up, um, I think when Trump was leaving office, uh, steel had went up or something, or so something like that. There's a little bit of politics with the imports and all that metal. So yeah, that one's pretty. That one's pretty. Okay. More bumper pulls. All right. It's the Hitch and Tow Company. Okay. All right. These are supposed to be pretty light. The newer newer trailers. Um. Yeah. Okay. I mean, worst case scenario, I could get a bumper pull. I don't know if it would be one as nice as these, because uh, these are pretty nice and new. Oh, I love the chrome. That's super cute. So yeah, it looks like they got more of the goosenecks over here. That's a serious hauler right there, that gray one. Um, I They store hay on the top of where that little square piece is. So that's not a bad looking one right there. It looks like the ramp kind of folds down on the side there. Maybe some living quarters there on the front. It's got maybe two horse hauler, maybe three if you count the side ramp thing there. That's kind of cool. This one's pretty nice. This is a bumper pool right here. So, yeah. Okay, I like the little rubber mat bar thing they got there because that I've seen several horses over the years before they started putting that standard on trailers. Horses hit them, hurt their ankles and stuff, and kind of rough up their, their legs. So that one's pretty. Huh, okay. All right, well, if I ever get, whenever I get ready, maybe, uh, maybe this will be a place I can stop at. And Shadow is a, is a trailer I've seen a little bit of seen that on the, on the road a few times so I keep hearing a lot of good stuff too about like the Adam horse trailers um, other than like the fact they're a little bit more boxy looking on the back end um, and when I say that I'm just kind of kind of see how this trailer here is kind of more of a, a square look that's I noticed that the Adam trailers look a lot more like that with the doors and stuff um i mean I, other than that i don't really know too much about those but i'm i'm definitely i think i'm definitely gonna go with a gooseneck because a gooseneck is in my mind is a little bit safer to haul um i've seen some i've heard some stories of bumper pulls the hitch is literally like falling apart <laughs> the trailer gets disconnected and it's like ah <laughs> you know, it's very scary when you have horses on board. Um, so, yeah, yeah. Anyways, I was so embarrassed because I, you know, like I said, we were playing this game earlier, and I had to pretend to be the horse, and they would they would give me, you know, like yeses or nos, and if I did something right and I was going in the right direction in the little room there where we were playing this game. You know they would say yes anyway i i got close to whatever it is they wanted the, to what they wanted me to do and then i got stuck and i was just like i was making a little juggle like this is so embarrassing and i was like literally like tearing up a little bit you know i was like oh my gosh do not cry right now christy this is just a drill <laughs> this is just a drill you know it was so much pressure you know and uh anyways um but yeah, out, and, and so when, when all of us had done gone through the, the game that we were playing, it was we were all talking about, you know, that's what it's like for horses. You know, they can't talk to us. They can't, you know, do anything other than, you know, what you have to reward them when they do whatever it is you're asking them to do correctly. You know, you, you have to reward them. And we were talking about how important rewarding is. Um, and they were saying horses that were more like the way I was. Um, <laughs> they said that food is is very very important, it's very critical. Um, and then and then there were some other people who um, had they caught on to whatever it was that the group was asking them to do, and they were talking about you know how to deal with horses that were more like that, you know. And, 
So anyways, and I was just like, yay, I was the, I was the difficult horse. I was the horse that, uh, yeah, <laughs> did not, didn't know what they were supposed to do. <laughs> it was obvious they didn't know what they were supposed to do. And then they just kind of gave up. And then, then they were frustrated. And then they were like, okay, I don't, I don't know what to do now. <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> so anyways, but the group was really patient. They, they helped me through it. Hoping that I will do better in the next training. <laughs> and then they'll all start, you know, it's my turn to talk or whatever. And I'm like, oh, no. We, in my mind, I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. We, do, we don't have to. I don't know. We can skip over me. I'm just, I'm just here to observe, you know. And, and so, yeah, yeah. Because, like, when I was in school, I don't know if I should tell this or not. But they, they basically, in high school, they told my uh, guidance counselor, I won't name her name she wasn't the best person in the whole wide world I hope she's improved since then but anyways she basically told me that the best I could do in life was you know the best I could hope for was to be a janitor you know and uh, that really hurt because uh, all through school and my mother can attest to this um, I, I just was not your grade A student. I did not catch on to academics at all, worth a crap, especially math. Um, and which was hilarious because my mom, she paid for me to go to a tutor. She tutored me and oh my gosh, that woman could work miracles, okay? Like she brought me in and I, I don't know what she did that was so different than, you know, the teachers at school. But within a couple of weeks of sitting with her and going over the struggles I was having with math, I mean, I could do math better than the kids in class with calculators. You know, I could, I, on paper, I mean, I couldn't do it in my head like my mom. My mom was like freaking, she's, I mean, she could calculate math in her head pretty dang of good, okay? Like, it, it, she's, she's good. So, but that's just something I, I just didn't, I didn't get, you know, in my genetics from her. So, you know, <laughs> um, but anyways, that lady, she really, she made me feel better, the, the tutor, she made me feel better about school because I just, you know, when you get told you're stupid for so long and you, you just get, you, you kind of get left behind in the group, I guess, in a way, and, and you just, you don't fit in and then, then you hate going to school and, and you just, you know, it just, it just sucks, you know, all around. And then you got failing grades, and then, you, you know, you got a frustrated, uh, you know, family back home trying to, to try to figure out how to explain this stuff to you because they don't really know what it is either. And then, you know, because they've been out of school, they, they're not even thinking about school anymore until, until you came home with your homework assignment, and you're like, I need help. <laughs> um, but, you know, it, it, and I just, yeah, but all those years, um, of just you know being told my mom being told actually that you know your kids got a learning disability your kids got you know your kid is just basically stupid you know it's <laughs> just in a nutshell your kid is stupid you know <laughs> and uh anyways um but i'll never forget it though i was sitting in high school and you know how kids when they're getting ready to, to graduate or they're starting high school and they're trying to figure out what classes to take and you know so they could go to college and all this kind of crap you know and my mom, you know, she was, she's wanting all of us, all of us kids to go to college, you know, and anyways, I did college for about a year, year and a half, and I just, I, was, oh, <laughs> I hated it, oh my gosh, I hated it so bad, but anyways, it's just not for everybody, you know, and um, anyways, but yeah, the, the my guidance counselor, though, she sat there, though, and she looked me in the eyes, and she was like, you know, the, the best you could hope for is to be, is to be a janitor, and I was just like, what a sorry no good <laughs> you know my grades weren't the best but they were passing but they weren't the best you know and uh all that all that irritated my mom was so bad you know and you just literally from kindergarten to high school just had like no no hardly any you know like you know you're doing great you know and and if i won an award which i did a few times um you know, basically, you know, um, I'm trying not to tear up right now. It's just, you know, it's, people be like, oh, you know, that's like the minimum, you know, that's like, you know, thanks for participating, you know, you, you, you were here, you know, but, you know, you just weren't that good, you know, and just like, dang, people, 
<laughs> so anyways um that's kind of scarred me for life in a way but i choose not to have a self-pity party and just be like oh you know this the, the world is just so mean and so tough I and mean, maybe i'm not really good at this and you know this and that just you, you know all, all the excuses in the world you know and so me going out here and trucking and having people you know tell me all the time you know girl you were good at what you do you know and girl you drive better than these guys out here have been doing it for 30 years and you know and it just it really 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 makes my day it really does because I tell you what <laughs> I mean my mom she was she was a cheerleader man she was constantly telling me all the time you know you're not stupid you're not a dummy you know and and you just you learn differently than everybody else and to tie in with the horse meeting today I let some of those childhood emotions flared up a little bit and yeah I'm whew, I'm not a dummy <laughs> um, I'm not stupid and it's okay to, to not get it the first time because everybody else in the group was getting it <laughs> I was not and I, I got I got frustrated so anyways